For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Let's head back to the Google and search for NCPA Nachos download. So we are going to download the NCPA agent for the Linux. So download Nachos. I can just click on the monitoring agent and click on the downloads here. And you can see that so there are many versions here. So we have to select the appropriate version. Currently I'm using CentOS 8 for this uh, NCPA installation. So just click on the install RPM using RPM. So it will give you the repository URL here. Okay, so now let's copy this uh, path, RPM path here. And go back to the client and paste it here. So I just I just wanted to open the new putty session and connect to that server. So just 201, accept this. And log in as a root because we need the root credentials to install the packages. Okay, so this is the not just client one, which is CentOS 8. Now let's paste this command here. So this is the RPM we are going to install, which will configure your repository. Copy it, paste it. So now enter. So you should have the internet connectivity to download and install this package. So now let's run m install ncpa y. So it will install the ncpa client on this machine. You can see it's a simple single RPM which is 2.4.0 version. So now the installation is completed. Now let's edit this uh, ncpa.cfg file, which is located on slash usr local nachos NC etc slash ncpa.cfg file. So in this, you have to change this community string. So you have to update the community string with the strong password. For now, for the demo purpose, I am using Linux password and uh, save this file and uh, check the status of the ncpa underscore listener l s e n e r okay so now it's running fine let's restart this so we have changed the configuration so in order to take effect we have to restart the ncp underscore listener service That's it. So we have to uh, add the firewall rule here to allow the 5693 port. Uh, firewall CMD iPhone iPhone permanent iPhone iPhone add port equal to 5693 slash TCP. And reload this config to take effect. Reload and uh, we have to disable the AC Linux as well. Set and force equal to zero. And also disable on the configuration file. So config and there is an enforcing mode. So you have to just say that disabled. That's it. Now let's define the uh, checks on the Nagios server here. So adding the remote Linux server using NCPA. So it is a cross platform agent. So we are going to add this configuration here. So vi slash 
uh, we already into the servers directory so centos 8.takearkt.local.cog file and here I'm just copy paste the configuration from the github repository here so I just say host definition and copy paste this from the git the configuration so I already pasted here so let's modify this uh, text according to your uh, configuration so we already have so many things here so let's uh, see first of all we have to do the let's check the template.cfg file and what is the template name we have here service dash tech ARK IT and Linux dash tech ARK IT. So grab that template name and edit back here and change this. So change Linux dash server to the this template name. So you can paste it here Linux dash tech ARK IT and address you have to enter the address here which is 192.168.29. 201 now we can go back and see here IPA that is correct so contacts is not not just admin which is a Ravi and the host name is centos 8 local. So you have to replace all of this configuration. So I'm just replacing this uh, here. XXX place wherever there is a host name. So replace all globally. So the host name is replaced. I can see that the service name you have to replace the service template which is uh, Linux service dash techrkt in place Linux dash service replace that. And you can see that there is an interface name is eth0 now see it is not ens33 here so you have to change that eth0 to ens33 replace that and you can see okay so the context also is not correct and contact group also is not correct so let's replace that let's correct that option here so now I'm just going to change that contacts percentage yes slash the contacts not just admin and contacts contact name is Ravi slash G and replace it globally and contact group name is not not just admin which is admins okay again replace this value as well okay so now it looks good and we have to change this token value as well so let's see what is the token value we have given cat slash usr local nagios nagios ncpa etc slash ncpa.cfg file and grab for the token value the community string okay you can see that it's a linux password Now let's replace this my token value with the Linux password. Okay, so it is replaced. So looks all good. You can see is there anything you have to change? No. So all looks good. Let's see host definition here. That's good. Save the configuration. Now verify the nachos. Okay, you can see that uh, host group is name is there is a spelling mistake. So you have to correct that. It's not Linux server, it is Linux servers. Okay, you can see that the host group name is Linux servers. So let's edit the configuration file and add s or there on the host groups so 
save the file and again re-verify the nudges okay this time you can see that there is no command specified on the commands.cfg file okay let's uh, edit the uh, commands.cfg file which is in usr local nachos etc object slash commands.cfg file and let's define the check underscore ncpa so i'm adding the command called check underscore ncpa command and I'm defining the command here define command and command name you can just say that check underscore ncpa is the command name and say command line which is almost the same path check underscore ncpa and define the host address variable dollar and you can specify the argument and close this command save this commands file now again verify the nudges so this time no errors let's restart the nudges service to take the effect let's go back to the nudges console and see the host is visible okay it takes a few minutes to check this configuration okay so it looks like okay there is a mistake on the command it is let's see that uh, edit the commands.cg file again so i missed out dot py here you can see that uh, check underscore ncpa dot py which is a python program so we have to add, add py and save the configuration and restart the nagios service nagios restart and look up the console again you can see now this looks fine okay so it's all green the services are checking and it's reporting fine as expected that's about it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned Please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses. If you want to join the uh, WhatsApp group, the link is given below in the description. Click on the link and join the WhatsApp group for connecting with more technical people.